Times change in Teen Titans Lazarus Contract Special Issue 1. The Lazarus Contract reaches its explosive finale in this special oversized one-shot. Picking up where Deathstroke left off last week, we are given a brief history of Grant Wilson after he ran away from his father. Turning to a group backed by Hive, Grant used their resources to become an assassin himself and go about trying to kill his father. Only learning that his father and Deathstroke are one and the same when Slade runs back in time to save him from being killed in his battle with the Teen Titans. Things don't go right for Slade though and upon finding out his father is Deathstroke, Grant will not stop his revenge mission against Slade, forcing him to run back in time again and again and try over and over again. Back in the present, the two Titan teams try and figure out how to stop Deathstroke from destroying all of time and space with his speed force abuse. As the team locate Deathstroke, Robin leaves not only Kid Flash behind, thanks to his betrayal, but also Jackson Hyde, forcing the two to call up Slade's butler friend, Wintergreen, for some help. Opening up a time portal, the Titans meet with their younger selves and warn them of Deathstroke's plans. Unfortunately, they don't get to warn them properly as Damien attacks attacks the original Kid Flash and gives him a near-death experience, causing a time ripple that robs Slade of his powers. It works and Slade is returned to the present with only a small amount of his Speed Force powers left thanks to his Icon suit. Kid Flash chases Deathstroke back into the Speed Force, looking to save the assassin from his fate, and Flash goes after the two of them and rescues both of them. With his powers finally gone, Deathstroke casts aside his mask, saying he is done with being Death stroke. Teen Titans Lazarus Contract Special Issue 1 was the kind of cool final part in this Lazarus Contract event. Uh, it was definitely more of a Deathstroke centric arc than I was originally led to believe. I originally thought the Teen Titans and the Titans would have slightly a bigger role to play, but I guess it, the story did center around Deathstroke and his family and everything, but I would have liked to have seen them get a little bit more than what they actually got, uh, since a lot of the time it was back, looking back at, um, Slade's life and everything, flashbacks and stuff like that, so I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of them. Uh, also, this kind of had some big effects on both teams as uh, as the issue was wrapping up, we kind of got these two epilogues that sort of show where the two Teen Titan teams are when we pick up in their next issues, and we see the Teen Titans have fired Kid Flash for his betrayal, uh, so that's pretty interesting, and this kind of also goes with like the solicitations we've seen where Fla Kid Flash has joined uh, Deathstroke's team whatever that team is uh and the titans one is that thanks to damien kind of abusing the time stream and giving the original wally west a near-death experience he now has a pacemaker and the doctor they see which is deathstrokes uh personal physician uh says that if he continues to use his speed force in such a way that he does uh he could probably die from it because his heart and the pacemaker aren't particularly suited for that and that's pretty interesting and i imagine that's going to have some big effects on wally since basically a speedster and everything and he's very important to rebirth at the moment so it's going to be very interesting to see where he goes from there i'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10 well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you'll check out my other reviews of comics out this week. You can also catch myself and Joel from Cape Joel in our weekly podcasts, Cape TV and the Comic Multiverse over on his channel, the Weekly Pool Archive channel, and on SoundCloud. Links to them can be found in the description below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and if you're feeling a touch generous, I have a cyber tip jar set up. Just follow the links below, and until next time, I am Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, and I will see you in another video. Here.